Hot dogs are a must at any Independence Day party, but when I saw these hot dogs decorated like firecrackers on Handmade in the Heartland, I knew I had to recreate them. So this recipe is really simple. You're just going to take your hot dogs, and using a bamboo skewer, I'm just going to thread my skewer through the entire hot dog. Keep going all the way up at the top until you leave just a couple inches. That's actually where our gold star is gonna go. Look, Mom, I'm a star. And then just put them onto a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. You know, usually the only time that I'm threading meat onto a bamboo skewer is when I go camping every year, but I think I'm getting pretty good at this. Maybe even Hot Dog Got a Stick would wanna hire me. So I think I could really pull off the Hot Dog in a Stick costume. I'd even wear a Hot Dog costume. What do you guys think? As long as I could walk around with my own ketchup and mustard and do like a big commercial and smack someone and get mustard on someone. Now these hot dogs are kind of like a bigger version of pigs in a blanket, which is why I love this recipe. So I'm just gonna use refrigerated breadstick dough. I used to get my neighbor to do this in college. Ah, I actually love the smell of refrigerated dough. It's really sick, but it smells so good. And so this is gonna be one of our little blankets. And starting at the top, just going to wrap the dough around my hot dog. And if you have a little extra, I just like to tuck it in the back. So that's the start of our firecracker hot dog. I mean, this is really a dream meal at a party because everyone loves pigs in a blanket. Adults, kids, and then when you actually give them one that's this big, oh, I would love this. I really love this recipe because anytime I get to play with my food, it's kind of like arts and crafts, but in the kitchen. To me, these firecracker hot dogs taste better than a basic hot dog and a basic bun because this dough is so buttery and flaky. Oh my gosh, it just puffs right up. A little bit of mustard, mmm, can't wait to eat you. And then once you've wrapped all of your hot dogs, you're just going to put these into an oven that's been preheating at 350 degrees for about 20 minutes or until the bread is golden brown. Mm, these smell so delicious, but there's still one final touch we have to do, putting the star on top of the firecracker. I'm a shooting star. So for this, I'm using some Colby cheese, and you can actually go to your deli and have them slice it into eighth of an inch thick slices, or you can buy a block of cheese and do it yourself. And I'm using a star cookie cutter that I got at a craft store. I'm just gonna cut out my star, just like that, and then carefully, slide it into the top of your skewer. And you don't want to go all the way. It's just going to be nice and precious right on top. Look how cool that is. It is so festive. <laughs> now when it comes to presentation, you can absolutely leave these on a platter and let your guests serve themselves, or you can really get festive with it and put them into a pail standing upright. Now a trick to do this to keep it down, weight the bottom, with maybe rocks or beans or something, and then use styrofoam. You can find this at a craft store. And then you're just gonna place your hot dogs, your little firecracker hot dogs, right into the jar, and it's almost like they're exploding out of it. What I love about this is you have dinner and you have table decor, right? And then, voila, look how good that looks. Guys, I would love to know if you have any special 4th of July recipes you like to make. Tell me all about them in the comment box below. I'm Brandy, and I'll see you next time on Eat the Trend. Ready for takeoff. <laughs> I was going to catch it. I'll eat that one. <laughs>